Conceived as the main residence for a family in a gated community in the metropolitan region of Sao Paulo, this house boasts a privileged location, a corner plot on a flat street in the highest part of the gated community. Float House offers a wide panoramic view and the large garden terrace on the upper floor complements the complex by providing a space for contemplation for the three suites. The architecture conceived with the idea of creating a neutral and visually minimalist building. The building's planes serve as a support for the projection of sunlight, shadows from the trees, and reflections from the water mirror and swimming pool, establishing a sensory object that closely linked to its surroundings. Based on the coexistence of opposites, the proposal reveals the duality between stability and suspension, weight and lightness, opacity and transparency. By exploring the physical and visual capacities of matter, the poetry of construction manifests itself through the subtle substances of architecture. The constructed object is the supporting player in the composition, while the immaterial takes center stage. The generous living area opens onto the rear patio, and the integration of the internal spaces takes place through articulated and sliding components, such as Bryce's Soleil, partition doors, and aluminum frames. These elements allow for a variety of configurations, creating different ambiances and promoting great dynamism on the facade that opens onto the garden. architecture closer together, the gable that faces the garage access facade, and on the opposite side the living room, covered with a double layer of hydraulic tiles developed by Brazilian visual artist João Nietzsche. The intervention refers to the concept of floating expressed by the building within geometric composition. The materials specified for the construction allow the building components to be more slender, resulting in a lighter volume. The structural system uses metal beams and pillars, while the upper floor slabs, roof and internal walls made from cross-laminated wood panels made from treated pinus. Through the promenade architecturel, the spaces are gradually revealed along the way, with a play of full and empty, light and dark, opaque surfaces and transparencies, creating a tactile and visual experience. The access ramp and staircases, which hang exactly one meter over the water mirror, act as mediating elements, making the work effective from the experience and movement of the residents.
The elevation of the main volume prevents the transfer of heat and humidity to the interior. Combined with the thermal insulation properties of the perimeter water mirror, the abundant ventilation and natural lighting, the thermoplastic blanket roof, and the solar panels for heating water and generating photovoltaic energy, this solution guarantees the environmental comfort of the residents while at the same time reducing electricity costs for artificial lighting and air conditioning, making its use more efficient and environmentally friendly.